Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is Mystical Today. I am bringing you Monk Monday number 120. Thank you so much for anyone who submits your gameplay. For those of you who don't know what this is, you send any games that you have recorded, you know, YouTube video streamed uh, to this email right here. And I critique it, I review it, I go through everything. Uh, it's been a lot of solo shuffle, but you know, I'll go through your teammates' cooldowns, twos, threes, RBGs, shuffle, Mythic Plus, raids, Mistweaver, Windwalker. I have done it all. So please send your gameplay. This is one of the best ways for you to learn. If you're too shy or you just don't want to submit your gameplay, I would still encourage you to re record your gameplay and watch it back. I can promise you, <laughs> I can promise you, you'll see a lot of mistakes. I can reassure you. So today we have we have today we have alina alina jet butcher that name probably uh who says here's a clip for my shuffle games at 1600 cr i think i played too greedy and don't pay attention to my port when i'm in trouble any tips for these rounds would be great thank you in advance i got you all right let's take a look at the spec real quick um let's see we are looking we are looking good and now what i'm what i'm seeing here also is uh Let's see if you play Restoral or Revival. Restoral, so we're playing against Sub Rogue, Survival Hunter. It looks like Preservation Evoker. So let's see what we're playing. Also, ooh, okay, wait. One thing I would... Uh, one thing I would do, though, is I would put, I would put at least one point into, into right here. Uh, this, uh, I think it's Rapid Diffusion. I always forget the name. This, the, I would definitely put uh, at least one point in here because it's going to free up some globals. So I would drop... I would drop print mending proliferation. I'm trying to look at your your spec right now. I, I would I would drop mending. Uh, yeah, I would drop this right here, mending proliferation, and put one point into here because it just frees up so many globals. Um, also, restoral is probably better than revival. Revival is really good versus like Ellie Shaman and Affliction Warlock because it's this stat right here because you actually have stuff to dispel. Um, but versus versus this, there's nothing to dispel. So the heal while stunned is really nice. If you pair it with Peace Weaver, you can immune traps, you can immune sleepwalks while you're stunned. Um, all that fun stuff. And then, yeah, drop drop uh, Zen Focus T as well, because there's only one range kick. Uh, Eminence is probably better, because then you could port traps, and if they try to kill you. Yes, good, good, yes. Good swap to restore here. R restoral. Oh my God, I'm having a hard time pronouncing it. Yeah, really good. I like that. Um, but I would definitely put one point over here. It, it's just like you don't eat, that way. You just spend your time using Enveloping Mist, and you don't have to spend time using Renewing Mist. Still nice. Um, kill target probably gonna be the Rogue or the Hunter. You could cleave both. Um, you're playing with the Demon Hunter. You'll be able to get double stuns, so that'll be nice. Hopefully, we don't have any purges for the the Neural Fine Shrouds. So your Demon Hunter is just in. All right. This is a rough start. This is a rock. This is a, this is a shaky start here. Uh, let's just let's just take it from the top here. I did not, I, I did not expect, <laughs> I did not expect your demon hunter to just run straight in here. Okay, uh, port is fine. You're playing with a melee, um, and it seems like the BM hunter, all the BM hunter isn't even out of the gates either, and your demon hunter is just in. Um, I would put your port either on this pillar or this pillar. You're playing with a melee. So they're going to have to be pushed in, especially since you're playing against two melee. Uh, so you should put your port probably here. Here It seems like your Demon Hunter is pushing on this side of the pillar. So put your port over on this pillar. That way you can play between the pillars and port when you have to and still stay in range. Because right now, I, listen, I would be healing the Hunter too because I wouldn't even see this Demon Hunter. But we are sapped right now. Uh, yeah, your Demon Hunter is just in. That is some damage coming out. That's um, Dragon Breath from the the evoker that's uh, another walk from your demon hunter so that's okay i mean it is what it is unfortunately blind full here probably gonna have to trinket this it's fine good we got some hot out dr song on you is fine uh half trap on you is fine as well um so now now it's our turn all right now now it's our turn let's look for i don't know if your hunter your hunter already trapped it looks like but i'm not seeing the dr oh it's because no fine shroud all right so no no fine shroud is down now I would recommend um, what I just looked for is if you had a focus frame. I would I would look I would try to set up a keybind for focus frame or like a macro for it. Uh, that way you can track like certain like certain buffs and VD buffs. It looks like the dragon does not have nullifying shroud anymore, so we can CC here. Actually, did we just in cap and immune? Yeah, we did. That's okay. I think we still have sweep though. Sweep here is DR on the rogue, and but it's full on the hunter. We got evasion from the rogue. I guess that's fine. 
And Hunter's gonna try to Hunter doesn't have trap. Hunter doesn't have trap. We don't need support. Hunter doesn't have trap for eleven seconds. One thing now I don't try I try not to comment on people's UIs often because I it's it's your UI. You can do whatever you want with it. I would recommend, however, um kind of reducing the the you know the cooldowns you see on on the health bars that's kind of what i do so try to minimize it to like the only the spells that really matter so like trap you know do we really care about disengage probably not do we care about blood fury probably not trinket sure but snake trap intimidation yes exhilaration probably harpoon maybe like uh, it, it really only matters if they have traps so i would i would track like trap trinket i mean even like I don't, actually, this is, is an exhilaration. This is aspect of the something. Um, but yeah, I, I would just worry about trap because he doesn't have trap. He doesn't have trap. You you could sit this stun. This stun is 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 useless because he's got no trap. And now we waste port. And then also, s second mistake here. Since you're playing Eminence, your first port, beautiful, great job. Even though there was no trap, if you did have trap, you definitely avoided it. The second port needs to be after you're done being stunned. Because what happens now is eminence, even you use your second charge on while you're stunned. So that means your second port will not be reduced. So let me see, where's your port cooldown? Where's your port cooldown? Right here. Okay. So instead of a 30, is it 25 seconds? I think it should be 25. It's gonna be longer than that. Even though it shouldn't be it's 45 seconds. It shouldn't be. It should be 35 seconds. But we use our second port while stunned, so we don't get the cooldown reduction. Because Eminence makes it so your cooldown, it, it takes a full cooldown if you port while stunned. But since you're playing Escape from Reality, you could use your second port, not stunned, and that's the cooldown it takes. It's a little weird interaction, but pretty much try to use your second port after the stun. That's pretty much it. All right. That's fine. So it, technically, they, they should Cocoon here is okay. Cocoon here is okay. Let me see. Probably didn't have to cocoon, but the, the good thing, what, what what we have going for us right now is one, they have no stun DR for uh, the trap setup, so they're gonna have to use some kind of net. Probably they're probably gonna have to like harpoon to us, um, but he doesn't have it because they're using it for peels. Life cocoon's fine. I don't see much damage coming out, but that that's okay. It looks like our demon hunter tried to fear. Okay, try to fear the DPS. That is smoke bomb. Nice drop on it as well. Nice, good, good. We're getting some. You're healing, by the way. Perfect. You're getting some envelop mist out, which is nice. In cap on the evoker there. We do get trapped. We do get tracked rather than trapped. Um, this is gonna hurt. We're gonna. Hopefully, we can live this. We do live this now. Just we. Oh, we get slept. Uh, this could have gotten kicked. I. I. We have blur back from our demon hunter. Good. Well done. Good. Heal. Perfect. Because again. They don't have range kicks. The only range kick is Evoker. So technically, they have one range kick. But outside of that, if as long as you stay like kind of far away, like you're chilling, looks like our hunter trapped the pet by accident. We do get stunned here again. They do. They just trapped you. Perfect. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Perfect. Perfect. They didn't have to port at all because we knew that he didn't have trap. So this is good. Gouge on you. Uh, we have no CC. In cap is a is the yard. Okay. All right. I like it. I like it. Yeah, the in-caps DR, though, so just be careful with that. We do get the song, though, which is really nice. It looks like the I-beam broke it. You get used to it and shuffle. You get used to it, but that's okay. Um, but we're doing pretty good. Healing-wise, I think we're solid. I, I, that's a hunt from our Demon Hunter. Uh, we cocoon. I, I don't mind the cocoon, mostly because I know we don't have Trinket. But... <sighs> Be be careful. Be careful with pre-cocoons. Um, and don't stay don't stay too close to your port. Don't stay too close because then they can trap on like right now. You can't port. Where's the trap? Where did the trap go? He I have no idea where that trap went. But yeah. yeah we're looking around too. I don't I, I don't know where that I have no idea where that trap went. We don't have a grounding. We have, I don't know. But great trinket on the blind. That was a, very weird. But that's why you don't stack on your port either. If we get a sweep on the rogue. So from your point of view right now, let's see. We have sweep. Oh, no. We just use sweep. Okay, that's fine. We got a nice select sweep on the healer. We'll go for a little touch of death. A little Todd. Maybe look for a kick on the healer. Still on you. Um, does he have trap? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, we're close. Yep, yep. Do a little damage here. Trap on you. This is fine, I think, because... Well, I thought we were having a go, but now it looks like we're taking heat here. So, this should be okay. Again, they have no range. They only evoker has. I would heal. Yeah, no. Was that a tie? Oh my god, it was a tie. Um, 
you we don't need to stop casting here. Like we we don't need to stop casting because they only have one sh they have one range interrupt right here. They have evoker. That's that's the only range interrupt that they have. And it doesn't look like they're trying to even heal or trying to interrupt you right now. They're trying to heal. So just try to just recognize what interrupts are available and and just heal if you can. Plus that game was so close. I that was actually a tie. I that's very rare. You don't see that too often. Wow. Wow. That happened to me that's that's happened to me two times. That's happened to me two times. That's so weird. Um all right, so Demon Hunter, Sub Rogue, Preservation Evoker versus Double <laughs> Double Hunter. Okay, so odds are that they're probably gonna go your so so you need to think ahead and like think of who they're gonna kill. They're probably gonna kill your survival hunter or try to kill your survival hunter. So play far back and just again, they have no range interrupts here. They have no range interrupts. So just keep that in mind. You can heal your survival hunter as long as you're out of crowd control. I keep saying that, but they do have one. They have the evoker interrupt, but it's a, like a 45 second cooldown, 35 second cooldown. So it's usually not too bad. It's not much of a threat, pretty much. Um, they cheap shot you, gouge you. This is fine. Um, Chaos Nova comes out. Your hunter trinkets it. Renewing Mist goes out. Beautiful. They outrange you. God, I would be. Oof, oof. All right, good. All right, this is fine. This is fine. They're, go they're swapping. Nope, they're going your survival hunter. Yeah, I figured. I think it's just easier for them to hit melee. Oh, demon demon hunter is on a on a solo mission, just like round one. Sleepwalk on you. Definitely, this was kickable. I think, unless he was playing the uh, talent. No, this was kickable. Just keep that in mind. If you're not targeting an enemy when you press your kick, it'll target the nearest enemy that's casting and interrupt. So if you just hit your, hit your interrupt here, you get kick the sleepwalk. So keep that in mind. Uh, this is also probably kickable. Your hunter does have kick uh, and he's out of crowd control. So again, it's not all, it's not completely your fault. You know, like you could have kicked it, sure. But your hunter also could have kicked it. Um, but just keep this in mind. Demon hunters, Demon Hunters. Preservation Evokers normally just, they try to push in and get that CC because they have to. They have the short range. Uh, what is unfortunate is it's on our Zen Focus T. Even though I don't think we need Zen Focus T this round, um, we probably could have went with Chrysalis, Peace Weaver, maybe Eminence in case they try to go you, but luckily the Sub Rogue isn't trying to kill you because if this Sub Rogue knew, <laughs> you could probably kill you. Maybe go for a song here. Nice. Go so a song off that trap. No, we're dying. Emerald Communion. He's outranging you. Get a Renewing Mist out. Perfect. Good. All right. Healing elixir is beautiful. We have Yulon. We have Yulon. Careful. Trinket. Uh, let's see. What, what, what just happened here? What's going on? Uh, our hunter outranged us. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Hunter's in duel right now. So don't freak out. Don't freak out here. Hunter is in shadowy duel. But it looks like we turtled potentially. Yeah, we turtled. Okay. So don't freak out here. I think we start to like... We, we freak out a little bit because we think our hunter's like out of range or something. Or I thought he was. Um, he's just in shadowy duel. We don't need to push in here. We don't need to push in. Yeah, don't, don't. Oh, this is like, oh, this is the rug. We cannot go on the side of the pillar. You want to pretend that your team is like a shield. And you want to stay behind your shield. So your BM hunter's here. Your survival hunter's here. And we're about to go through past our shield. And the demon hunter, he smells blood in the water here. Yeah, the demon hunter wants you. Um, I'm actually surprised I'm not trying to train you. But you just be careful. Just stay. Just stay far back. I we might have. Th I thought your hunter outranged you too, but it, it was actually just shadowy duel. Uh, we do get stunned here. Um, try to utilize Yulon. We get kicked and then stunned. Honestly, yeah, this is fine. I guess. I mean, for, all things considered, it's fine. Uh, port beautiful. Go around the pillar. Great. They're gonna. Ch they're chasing you. This. This is when it gets a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. When you port away and a team ch starts chasing you, I get a little scared. But. Uh, good rob there. We, we have a second port. We have a second port. Oh, oh my God. That's a little kill the, kill the rogue. Oh, so close. Um, We did it. We did have our second port. So one, another little trick that you could do with your port. It might be a bug. It might not. I don't know. When you have your first port with escape from reality, you get a buff right here. It's this little purple star. That means you have a second port available. If you get kicked while that buff is active, you can still port while you're kicked. So what I do is I'll port, I'll get this buff because I play Escape from Reality, and then I will try to get kicked. So right here, uh, I think we're out of range, but we get in range, I'm pretty sure, here, yeah. Just tell, you can just tell, you know, these days. 
I would have I would have chilled here and gotten kicked by either one of these, either the rogue or the demon hunter. It looks like demon hunter won't the kick, so get kicked by the demon hunter and then port out of there. But instead, now we're out of range of our port. We drop our second port uh, buff and we're we're stuck. So now we have to use life cocoon. So again, just try to keep in mind port is like a very very cool, very very good cooldown. There's some niche things you can do with it, and I, I try to take advantage of it when you can. Plus, you would have gotten the uh, cooldown reduction on your port. Um, actually, wait. Oh, you didn't use your second port, so it's a 30 second cooldown. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Um, but we, we still had to use Life Cocoon because we didn't use our second port. So that we won't have that for our hunters. And I think our true position, which is our survival hunter, does not have turtle. So next CC on you, because we just we trinked it outside of blind, uh, is probably it's going to be a rough one. But that is Smoke Bomb. We're doing a lot of damage here. Good. Get some CC. Almost. That's okay. BM Hunter's lining you. We, we kind of push it. Didn't use a cooldown. He didn't use a cooldown. All right. That's all right. That's, <laughs> that's okay. So we kind of push in a little bit. Again, this pillar is very awkward. The, your hunters are, they're, they're kind of dancing around it. They don't know you heal in a straight line. One straight singular line. So um, that is, uh, I would put that on them, but we roll in when we probably don't have to. Like I thought we had in cap, but. I, I'm looking for a focus frame, but he has three stacks of no fun shroud. So the in cap does nothing essentially. Basically, if you're playing a comp like this that doesn't really have purges, just it's not even worth trying to CC the dragon. Um, it's better off just keeping your team alive. I mean, we have sweep, so you could maybe use it on the DPS to peel for you, Hunter. That's what probably I would do. I'll probably wait four seconds or three, two, one. So I would have waited until about like around here because the rogue has no evasion. I mean, do they have Trinket? They got Demon Hunter shit. Rogue has no Trinket, though. So, like, a sweep could be good. So, um, during times where Nullifying Shroud is up, I would just try to keep your team alive because there's really nothing else you can't do. Um, other than that, yeah, kind of a... Con this right here is a combination of we've rolled in, we we kind of out-positioned ourselves, and then our, our Hunters... I mean, the Hunter was kind of... On, it, it's just an awkward pillar, awkward spot to be in, to be honest. But try not to roll in if you can't get the CC... Um, there's not much we can do about no fun shroud. It's just nothing. It, 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 <laughs> we don't purchase or anything, so it's a little unfortunate. Uh, we have Demon Hunter, Survival Hunter, Preservation Evoker. So again, the only range interrupt is the Evoker. Um, we're playing Hunter Rogue now. <sighs> Excuse me. Probably Survival Hunter. Yeah, they're probably gonna kill this. Uh, probably go the Survival Hunter. That's fine too. Survival Hunters are pretty squishy. Demon Hunters can die if they don't have stuns too, so always keep that in mind as well. Um, probably don't need to play Zen Focus T again, but that's fine. The Transmog is, is, I just noticed it. It's looking good. We're looking good. Look good, feel good. Demon Hunter immediately on you does not even try to get the Rogue or the Hunter out from stealth. So, okay. All right, let's not freak out. All right, we're stunned. Port, yes. Port on that hunt is beautiful. So it just hunts the, okay, we, we overlapped a lot there. Yeah, that was a big overlap. Um, usually in solo shuffle, I know. I listen. I know. I listen. I I get it. People don't press buttons in solo shuffle. I sometimes I don't press buttons. You know. Um, uh, normally I would try. I mean, the, the, he does evasion cloak, and then we do life cocoon, which I get. But normally I let DPS like trade their cooldowns first, um, because I think my cooldowns are more important. Because now I don't have now you don't have life cocoon for the hunter if he needs it or yourself. So normally I let the uh, DPS kind of use their own cooldowns first but at least that's the hunt out of the way which is nice it appears not you intimidation stout intimidation intimidation sleepwalk on you see now we don't have it for the hunter and now we zen focus to here oh you turtles man see that's the problem with like using you let your dps use your cooldowns for use their cooldowns first otherwise now you, yeah, exactly, now you don't have that cooldown for the Hunter, and he needs it. I'm actually surprised to go on Hunter, but your Rogue has two Vanishes, too. So I'm hoping that he kind of uses one if they go him. If they were smart, they would go to your Survival Hunter or yourself. So uh, we are rooted here. Demon Hunter's trying to go you. We could in-cap maybe if we have it. Yeah, you could in-cap to peel for yourself if you want to. We trinket the stun. We never reset our port, so our port is right here in the middle of the map. So be careful, and your Hunter dies. Okay. Usually, when you're playing Cast and Mistweaver, it normally comes down to one mistake, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's just how it is. Um, unfortunately, the mistake was overlapping with Evasion Cloak from the Rogue. The Rogue also had Vanish, especially if it's a Rogue. 
let let them let them use their cooldowns. They have like vanishes. They got cloak. They got evasion. Um, I don't even think you need to. I don't even think they needed to overreact that much. The hunt wasn't even like that bad. I don't think. I don't even think it was that much damage from the hunt, was it? I thought he went down to like maybe eighty percent, but like nothing. Let me see, because he just hunts them. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a little it's a little low. Yeah, I mean, it's a tough call. Uh, I I probably would have pressed revival here instead of life cocoon. Just or restore here, just because you can immune it with the hunt, or you can use it to immune the hunt. But it, it, it's definitely a tough matchup, it for sure. Um, and then it, you're just like falling behind since you overlapped. So it, it, listen, the issue is either you or spicy, spicy McNugs. All right. So we're, hopefully, spicy McNugs <laughs> is the issue. Um, no, nah, I'm just kidding. No, nah, no, nah. no one's the issue. I think everyone's playing all right. Uh, it's just some unfortunate. The first, the first game you should have won but it was a tie second one was just unfortunate positioning the third one was just an unfortunate overlap and that's just the nature of it which really sucks hopefully your demon hunter please get one of these hunters out of stealth my guy please he, please he, press eyes there it is okay let's see let's see if we get him out here nope okay okay nice nice good zap Good. Um, at, uh, nice port on that route. That was insane. Now, you want to use your second port, though. But that was a really, really good port. Holy cow. Nice. Good. Uh, I think they, did they evoke a trigger? No, the hunter trigger there. Nice. Uh, we didn't use our second port. Uh, we still got the cooldown reduction, but still. Um, that's fine, I guess. Yeah. Um, they're kind of stacked up right now. And I would say in three seconds, I'll go for a sweep. Yeah, I'd go for a sweep. If they're stacked up like this, I would I would go for a sweep if you can. Um, we're rooted. We're trapped. It's fine. Hopefully our rogue um, uses something. We have cocoon. We have we don't have revival, but we have cocoon, uh, which is good. Uh, we don't need to press it, though, which is nice. Very nice. Good, good. Turtle from the hunter. Beautiful. All right, so that's the hunter you're targeting. That's the hunter. We're, tar we're targeting spicy McNugs, and somehow we're also killing the Evoker at the same time. Don't know how. Great. Uh, they do have ra two range interrupts for you, though, so be careful. They have Evoker and BM Hunter Kick. So it's a little bit more. You do have to juke a little bit more, but I think overall it's not too bad. We're scattered here into potentially a trap. E That's so good. That's so good for you. They don't get the trap off. You're on DR. This is insane port on the root. Well done. That's Cloak from a Rogue. Life Cocoon. That's a fine overlap because it doesn't stop all damage. We're doing a really good job here. We're doing a fantastic job. Good healing, by the way. Good job keeping your, your new mist out. Um, we're going in. Okay. Let's let's be careful here. Sweep is perfect. Good. Good. Let's get a kill on this hunter. Nice. Well done. Good. Good in cap. Good sweep there. Perfect. Uh, that was a trap on your demon hunter, but it looks like it's the immune. What's it called? Frozen. I forget what it's called. I forget. Diamond Ice. Uh, sleepwalk on you. We're holding our trinket. We do get vanished from the rogue here, which is from from uh, for us. Uh, your rogue vanishes. This is our smoke bomb too. Just keep healing. Just keep healing. Good. Good. Melt Mist is out. Put Renewing Mist up. Perfect. We have evasion back from our rogue. Um, we're doing a really good job of just... Uh, that's a YOLO trap. I... We might not have seen it. We might not have seen it. But this hunter is running at you, and my guy... Whenever so, when a hunter runs at you, you can you know you can see the trap. This I mean, you don't know which trap it's going to be, but it looks like I mean you're tracking it, which is nice. But he threw he throws a trap down here, and it looks like it is is it is freezing trap. But I think we rolled at the same time he threw it, and we get trapped here, which is very unfortunate because my guy, which one was that true position with that trap? Get try to get CC off this. Oh, right here. So another thing that you want to do in solo shuffle is try to extend crowd control chains. Like try to extend crowd control as long as you can because it makes it that much more difficult for the enemy healer to like recover. Right now we're at a CC. No one's really dying right now. No, because we just evasion just ended. Go for an in cap off this kidney shot. Go for it, and we, I think we get the dub here. Go for the in cap. Yes, we didn't need to. Thank God. But that's just keep that in mind though. For every round moving forward, whenever you see a CC chain. I mean, your Demon Hunter has in-cap, but, like, I don't see any in-caps coming out from him. Just try to extend it as long as you can. Like, pretend that you're RMP and you're just, like, extend it as long as you can. Obviously, if something's triple ER, you don't want to triple ER it. But, you know, you know what I mean? Like, the the Evoker wasn't on the uh, in-cap DR. 
All right. Demon Hunter, BM Hunter. I, I like. I do agree. Go BM Hunter for sure. Uh, let me take a look at these PvP talents again. Or let me take a look at these talents again. I just want to see. Um, yeah, this is looking okay. Yeah, this is good. This is BM Hunter. Uh, okay, I, I mean Peace Weaver could be good too. I, I could see an argument for Peace Weaver not being good in this matchup. Um, but it's just the immunity is just nice, you know. Like you you, you give your team a little magic bubble for two seconds. Uh, maybe it's not worth it, but you immune the hunt and the trap. Maybe it's not as good as Unfocused T, though. I, I don't know. I'd have to be, like, in the game to think. Actually, play against a Demon Hunter. What did I play? I, oh, you know what? I played Eminence because I didn't want to get swapped to. All right, so he finally goes in to get people out of stealth. Let's see what we got here. Nice trap from your Hunter. Uh, no fighting Shroud up. Not much we could do. Not we're, not we're not doing much here. Yeah, we're just healing. Uh, good. That's Chaos Nova. Might want to dispel it if you can. That's Cloak from the Rogue. Probably didn't have to Cloak. Here comes a Sleepwalk. Um... I don't know if he sleepwalked. He incapped you. Okay, that's good. This is good. Um, okay, nice incap. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. Good. Oh, okay. He's out. But <laughs> the invoker, nice try. I like it. I like it. No, I do like it a lot for sure. Almost had him on that. Um, yeah, we're doing a good job. Just keep your new mist up. Just heal right here. He Hunter does not have trap for 17 seconds. So we're just kind of chilling right now. Be careful. Don't stack up. Be very careful right now. I would not stack up. Good. Good. Demon Hunters. Yeah. Demon Hunters. It's like a sixth sense that they have. I swear. It's like if uh, for Mist Weavers. It's just like if I don't know what it is, but we just treat a cocoon there. Let me see. Let's evaluate the situation. All right. So we pour. We can incap the Demon Hunter here if you wanted to for like uh, to peel for yourself. Try to run him over the trap, maybe. Um but yeah, I guess we train Cocoon. I guess it's a lot of damage on the Rogue. We, he still had Evasion, though, so I don't know. That's 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 a lot of cooldowns. Now we need to Restore here. Um, I would hope that they... And we use uh, Dampen Harm. So we, we use a lot of cooldowns to stay alive there. You could just in-cap. You know, just in-cap the Demon Hunter when they're running at you. And then run away. Um, Song of Chiji off that? No, we get kicked. I do like the... I do... More Song of Chiji's... Song of Chiji's win, win games. It's, there's a reason it's called Song of GG. Because if you get songs, especially later in solo shuffle rounds or like in the round while dampening is high, you just win games. It's it's just how it is because it, you just they just fall, the healers fall behind so much. Um, they are going your rogue though. That's evasion. Okay, I like the evasion coming out from your rogue before any anything on you on them. Uh, little pre evasion. We do have trinket though, so maybe I would have waited until damage came out. But that is turtle. So as long as we did damage, we get stunned. We pour it beautiful, and we pour it back. Be careful. Um, with that, just because you do port back into them, but great sweep off the great sweep off of the uh port back. I'm love song of GG from downtown, baby. From downtown, come on. No, no, we did not get that song. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I love it. I, I, you should that's what I should do from now on. If I can't get a song, just throw like a one like straight down. All right, that's a hunt coming in. All right, we have life cocoon, we have no trinket though, so we do need to keep that in mind. This guy's gonna go, you, and I don't know why, but you could just tell. You could just tell this guy's going for a sleepwalk. I would press life cocoon right now, is when I would press life cocoon because this guy is jumping, is he's look right here. I would have pressed life cocoon right here because this guy's looking right at you, like he he doesn't, he's not even trying to hide it. Like, he's going for you. So, this right... Oh, we do cloak, though. But he didn't use the hunt. Oh, did he just hunt into the cloak? Huh. All right. We don't mind that. We do, have, we do probably should life cocoon off this. So, let's trigger for me, Rogue. A little life cocoon here. Yeah, you see, that's... This is the thing about Mistweaver is, like, we don't have trinket. So... You just get, feel like you get punished. I I would think your rogue would be fine because we have an envelop mist for doing mist. I still would have life cocoon though. I, I for sure still would have life cocoon because they could set up their own CC chains because what they have trap right. They have trap. Uh, they have sleepwalk. This guy probably has a stun or yeah, this, the hunter probably has a stun. So it, it's it's a little brutal. Um, I definitely would have pre life cocoon this, but how are you supposed to know, right? I thought you would have lived too. I mean, cloak goes down, but I mean. Is there any gap here? There's no gap. It just ink cat sucks. Yeah, no, it, it had to be a pre-life cocoon on the on the sleepwalk, which is very unfortunate. It's very, very unfortunate. But yeah, yeah, definitely a pre-cocoon. I mean, it's easy to say now that happened, right? But um it sucks. That, uh, that there's rounds like that. You know, there's just gonna be rounds like that, there's gonna be games like this. But 
I'm not. I don't think you're playing terribly. I don't. I think you're playing really well. Um, I think you're doing a really good job of healing. Um, your teammates are kind of forcing your position sometimes, which is a little rough. Um, but overall, I think you're doing uh, doing well. So um, this is sub rogue BM hunter. It, it this it could be a tough matchup if they were you know if this was a normal threes game, <laughs> but it's shuffle so we'll see. Uh, they'll probably open with a cheap shot on you. Oh, we get them out. Good. Normally they open with a cheap shot on you into trap and then they'll kidney shot your DPS. But overall we're doing pretty good job. Trap on you, diamond dice. So that means the duration <laughs> the duration is a lot uh is reduced, which is fine. Uh, damage on the rogue here. Uh, that looked like the hunt from us as well. Um. Let's see what we got. We are outranging our port, so just be careful. They do break the sleepwalk, which is beautiful. Um, be careful outranging your port. Very, be very, very careful. Um, okay. No, we're doing good. We're doing good. Don't find shroud. How are we, how are we looking on the shroud? Um, looks like they don't have any more. So, yeah, let's go for CC. Nice in cap here into a song. Glorious. Beautiful. Get a trick. Get it. Insane. Insane. Wait, did he just... Did he just trink it to Emerald Communion? Because I'm pretty sure he could use it while stunned. Or while songed. Pretty sure he could use it while songed. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, overall doing good. Blind here. Let's see. Okay. All right. Trink it's fine. Trink it's fine. We don't have to. That's fine. Uh, sleepwalk here is half. I would eat it. Yeah, I'd eat it. That's 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 perfectly fine. Diamond Ice on you too. With Netherwalk. This, this, I know it seems bad. This is fine. This is all fine. Because they just, first of all, they just DR'd you like crazy. This is this this I would eat the sleepwalk right here. Yeah. I wouldn't even try to avoid this. This is a half sleepwalk because blind, blind and sleepwalk are on the fear DR. So uh the sleepwalk's half. And then they diamond ice you. But your your demon hunter is nether watch right now. Eat you should even try to get kicked during nether walk too, but I mean the hunter doesn't have kick. So we should be able to recover here. Don't freak out. We should be able to recover. They just DR'd you on everything. No kick from the hunter. Uh we do uh I don't know what we pressed there. This is fine. A gouge. Again, they're just DRing you like crazy. This is perfect. This is good. Scatter. Oh, my God. You're not, you're not going to be CC'd for like the next 20 seconds because they just DR'd you on everything. And Satan in cap here from your Demon Hunter. Go for a little kill on the Rogue. It's fine. Okay. We're doing good. All right. We're going to be off DR soon, so just be careful. We'll stun here. Great port. This is why I always stay in range here. But the Rogue's confused as to what just happened. Don't worry, buddy. It's because we just lived. Nice job. Nice. Good. That's why you always stay in range of your port. And you're fine. Look at that. And then they waste Shadowy Duel there. A revive pet. We can rob this. Beautiful. Hunter hates you. Could have kicked this towards the end. But that's okay. That's all right. Normally, because it for some reason, if you wait towards the end to rob, it's not enough time to... It, 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 like, you could kick it here right here so just fine um but we got a lot of pressure they wasted defensive cooldown there so they're both kill targets now both the hunter and rogue are kill targets um good job keeping envelope mist up renewing mist as well good job put i would put renewing nice oh my god from downtown oh they stunned you damn we have port nice i don't know why that trap did not work but okay stun on you this is fine dr stun the more goes they do on you the better uh, life cocoon on the demon hunter. He still had blur. You know, he still had blur. I, I, you know. Smoke bomb as well. Kill, 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 kill. Mm, damn. Yeah, smoke bomb is a little unfortunate. Nice. Be good healing here. Nice. Good. Vivify us. Good. Kick on you. I think we're very out. I think we're outranging our port by a lot. Nice. Oh, I thought you taught him. Oh, my God. No way. No freaking way. I thought we taught him. Let me see. So, again, a lot of losses on cast and Mistweaver, unfortunately, can get boiled down to one mistake. And that one mistake was this Life Cocoon right here. Um, we didn't have to press Life Cocoon. I mean, your Demon Hunter is at 61%. Um, in pa if this was before 10.0.7, um, so 10 in 10.0.5, I then I understand. But we can Thunder Focus T and Velvet Mist to keep our Demon Hunter alive so we don't have to cast. And then we can even throw like throw one of those on ourselves too, um, but yeah, this life cocoon. And we and then we and then the demon hunter blurs. Like, I honestly, I would argue that blur is a better cooldown than life. Cocoon. Well, not better, but like it's on a fifty second cooldown, if that. And like you just dodge fifty percent attack. So I think 
in this situation, your Demon Hunter just pressing, pressing Blur is just a better option than your Life Cocoon. So, unfortunately, that was the mistake. It, it sucks, but that was the mistake because now they go, you. We, we also outrange our port by a decent amount. I don't know how this Rogue didn't die. I, mean, I wonder if there's something we could have done to help kill the Rogue, you know? Like, I'm trying to think. I mean, we have Incap in two, but we, we, have, we have Healing Elixirs coming in hot. Um, yeah, I think our, we're better off just like lining. We could have Rop here. Rop to keep the Rogue in line of your of your teammates and then just stay around the pillar. Yeah, I think a Rop would have been good here because then he lines. Oh, I can't believe we didn't get that Todd. Uh, one day it'll work. Anyway, your healing is fine. I think your healing is fine. Um, let me see. This first game was close this one was the uh this one was the tie right yeah this one was close yeah just just be just know like who has kicks because the only range kick in in these matchups or a few of these matchups is the evoker and he's he's the only ranged range one that that can kick you so just keep healing until you get kicked get the kick out of the way what i do or one of the best ways to deal with kicks is to at the start of a game or whenever your teammates are at like 90 to 100 percent health just free cast and get kicked that way, you don't need to worry about where your teammates are low. Um, but yeah, this this one was cl obviously close. Just uh, yeah, just be aware of like who has um, range interrupts. Um, this one here. Oh, this was this was awkward positioning. This was kind of awkward positioning. It was kind of our fault and our teammates' fault. Um, they went behind the pillar. Then we rolled in. I think we tried to get CC on the Evoker, but he had no fine shroud up, so the CC didn't work. Overall, though, I mean, this wasn't a bad round at all. But just keep that in mind that just stay 40 yards away. There's not as the Miss Weaver, there's just you just we just need to accept that there's not much we can do against nullifying shroud. So this is okay. Um also when the your hunter got oh, we also pushed in. Yeah, we pushed in as well. I taught I said some tricks as well for um port during this game. So just use those tricks and you should be able to stay alive a lot easier. We don't need to use trink or cocoon, just use your port. Um and yeah, this one we did push in though, so be careful. Always stay behind your team. You know, be nice and safe behind them. Uh, this one, I forget what happened this game. Let me see. Was this the overlap? This was the overlap. Yeah, this was when we overlapped. Let your DPS use the cooldowns first. And guess what? If you lose the round, they didn't press their buttons. Like, trust me, I I get told all the time, why didn't I press buttons? It's like, bro. You had eight different buttons. I have a life cocoon that I need to use for like other t other people that aren't you. Press your cooldowns first. So let your DPS press their cooldowns and, you know, it should be fine. Oh, wait, was this the overlap one? No, this one was the fourth game was the overlap one. This one, I think. One of them was just let your DPS do the cooldowns first. Um, and then the last one... We outranged our port towards the end for sure. Um, and that was a little unfortunate because I think we could have stayed alive. And then obviously we used the, the life cocoon on a demon hunter and probably didn't have to. I don't think we had to, uh, which is really unfortunate. So yeah, overall though, healing wise, healing output wise, I think your healing is fine. Like your healing rotation is fine. Like I don't see much uh, issue with healing rotation. I would one kind of get rid of this clutter right here kind of minimize it to like the essentials like the bur one burst cooldown one defensive and then maybe trink it but all this it because it, it's just like this is a lot this is like just one big line of cooldowns that you need to track um and yeah no those those are pretty much it i mean fantastic job uh, that some games are like that some some solo shuffle games are like that you know you go a tie and then your teammates outrange you and then you overlap that's what it is but i would say overall stick with it you can do great you're doing you're killing it um if this was in 10.0.5 and not 10.0.7 thunder focus team belt missed good way to avoid getting kicked because you don't even need to cast uh it's really nice it's really nice it's really really good change for mist weavers i it's one of my favorite things about it um but yeah, that is pretty much it. Hopefully this was helpful for you or anyone who's running to the same issues. I am more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that is it for me. Hope everyone's a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later.